everyone, welcome back. So I said earlier that I was going to do a wee process video and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I've decided I'm going to start making my calendars for next year um, to gift to my friends and family for Christmas. So I've pulled out a couple of bits and pieces that I might use. I've got these, um, I showed these on a haul that I got from Every Crafts A Pound. It's to do crafts calendars and you get 10 in a pack so I'm going to use one of those. I've pulled out some different 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 bits and pieces. Um, I've got these hearts that I got from Tony Raptor. I've actually got lots of packets of these in the creamy sort of whitey colour but I didn't have any of these ones and Tony sent me those. So I'm going to use some of those I think. I've got this Project Life one and it's called Summer and it's full of oranges and reds and greens and things so I think I'm going to use that. And then this pad that I got yesterday, the changing seasons, you can see all the colours in that. And I also pulled out some of this washi with the blues and reds and pinks and things. I might use some of that. And some of this lace that I got from AliExpress, I'm going to use some of that. And also for the hanging piece, I've got some of this deep sort of burgundy ribbon that I've cut a piece off. So I might use that. So I don't know how this video is going to go because I'm just going to kind of wing it. But we'll give it a go and see how it turns out. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick my background for my calendar that I like. And I think, hmm, I think I'm going to go for quite a dark one. I quite like that one. I think I'm going to go for... Hmm, this one. So take this out. So it's got like the orange background with the, re the the red leaves and the red swirls. This is 200 GSM. So what I'm going to do um, to make it a bit stronger, I'm going to back it onto a 300 GSM piece of card. So I'll pause the video and I'll do that and I'll come straight back. Okay, so I've done that. I've put some of this um, 300 GSM cream card on the back. So essentially now, um, this is a 500 GSM piece of card, so it's quite strong for our calendar. So then what I'm going to do is kind of mess about with the layout. So we'll take out some of these Project Life ones. Like I say, they're called Summer, but the, the colours on these are quite muted. Um, so I think... I'll have a wee look. I don't know if I'm going to use one of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones. I quite like that one. So I'll have a wee look and see which one I'm going to pick. Quite like that one with the washing line on it. Quite cute. Let's have a look and see. Pop that on there. Sorry, I was just fixing the camera so that the whole calendar was in view. So I'm thinking about putting that one there, and then we'll have a wee look through here, these smaller ones, and see if I like any of them to go on. I really like fun fair but I don't think it would go with the washing line so maybe we might need to change our bigger card. What does this say? Cotton candy. I really like that as well actually. There's some absolutely gorgeous ones in here. Um. I'll maybe go with this stripy one because it kind of matches the colours. Yep, I think I'm going to go with that one just now. So I'll just pop them to the side. So, so far, we've got this bigger card and this smaller card here, like so. And we'll get out the wee calendar so we can see where we're going to position bits and pieces. I've got one of those, and I may just pop that down there, like so. 
So yeah, I like the layout of that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop down this Project Life big card. Pop lots of glue on so that it stays on. And I'm going to pop this just sort of so it leaves a border on this side. And then the smaller one, I'm just going to pop some glue on again. And then pop this about here. Give it a press down. So, so far, we've got our two Project Life cards on. So, I want to put some of this lace on as well, on the bottom, I think. Just have a wee look at that. Yeah, I'm going to put a piece of this on. So, I'm just going to cut it off roughly where I want it to go. Let's put this back in. So, this, to me, the colours, it's starting to look like it's going to be quite shabby chicy kind of colours yeah I think I'm going to pop that there so I've got, got my glue gun nice and hot and ready I think I can get it to work I might need to put another glue thing in and just give it a wee squeeze through get it started there we go and then I'm going to see where we're roughly going to put this. I think I'm going to have it about there. So I'm just going to run a line of hot glue all the way along so that it keeps the lace on nice and tight. I'm just going to pop that down. Be careful not to burn myself. You guys have probably burnt yourself as well a hundred times. I know what it's like when we're crafting. So just pop that on there. And then I will lift it up, just flap it over, and pop on some glue. I think I need to get a new glue gun. Yesterday, when I came back, I was supposed to be going to a hotel, and I came back, and my glue gun had been left on overnight. So, yeah, very dangerous. I don't know how it didn't go on fire. I'm so grateful that it didn't, but I left it on overnight, and now... The glue is coming out of the stick that was in it and it looks like it's a bit burnt. So I don't know if it's just going to be that glue stick or if it's all going to look a bit burnt now because I've left it. So we'll need to see. So we'll just pop that on like that. And then I'm going to just trim off the excess down the edge so it's not sticking out. That doesn't want to cut for some reason. I don't know why. It just does not want to. There we go. So that's down that side. And then we'll go back down to this side. And I'll just cut off the extra on this side. And I've just noticed that it's not the glue's been too low. So it's not really stuck in this down. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if my glue gun is broken but we'll try and put some more glue on. This time I'll put it on the lace. It'll maybe stick a bit easier. Try that. Pop it down. Just press it in. Hopefully it's going to stick. I think so. So I'm going to do the same again and just pop the glue along the lace instead of on the paper. And hopefully it'll stick this time. Just pop it over. Press it down. Yeah, that's sticking a bit better. But now I've got a line of glue under here that I can see 
that doesn't get stuck down so I'm going to try and peel off and it's going to peel off the paper right along the bottom so if you can see where I've ripped it off it's ripped the paper so I'm going to just pop a line of washi underneath the lace to hide the ripped piece of paper like so just press it down make sure the lace is at the way and then turn it over and just cut off the excess washi right along the bottom like that so now we have our two project life cards and our nice backing card and we've got this lace hanging off the bottom of the washi underneath shining through so that looks quite pretty then what I'm going to do is add a wee calendar and I think I'm going to have it I don't know whether to have it over the edge of the lace or whether to have it no I think I'll just have it above the lace so I'm just going to add this on with some wet glue, lots of wet glue, make sure it sticks down well, get that wee extra bit of glue out of the way, and pop this down roughly in the centre, and give it a good press down. So we've got our wee calendar piece now, and this is what our, our calendar looks like. So, Okay, so this is where we are so far with our calendar. Let's just click it. Then I want to embellish it a wee bit, add some bits and pieces. So I really like this washi, so I'm going to add, I'm just going to turn it to the side and add some washi from the top of my Project Life card, like so, all the way to the top, just for a wee extra thing for the eye to catch like that just stick that down so you see we've got our washer that sort of matches the colours of everything now and then let me have a wee look let me think so we'll take some of these hearts I think just open these up and we'll take some of these out now I always do things in odd numbers so we'll take three out at first and we'll see how that goes and these are self adhesive but because it's a calendar and it's going to be getting handled and things I will add a bit of hot glue I'm just going to I think I'm going to pop them down the centre of the door there I'll just pop a wee bit of hot glue on I think my glue is actually starting to clear now I cannot believe I left it on I haven't told my husband because he got absolutely nuts. So we'll put that one in there. And then, oops, put the next one underneath. Just here. And then the last one, take that little bit of glue, make sure it's straight. The last one. Put underneath here. Let's get it all squeeze on. So we've got our love hearts now down the side there, washi. We've got our two project life cards, our calendar and our lace and our washi at the bottom. So it's looking quite cute. Then I think I'm going to. Yeah, I am. I like the look of it. Because it's quite shabby chic, I'm going to add some paper cuts down the edge now. I'd I don't know actually, I don't know if my paper, if my 
yeah it will i was a bit worried it wouldn't go through the 500 gsm but it is so i'm going to add three on this side and then i'm going to go down to this side and add three staples i like adding staples um, and it's a shabby chic piece i don't know why it just i think it just adds something to it you can see that there it just looks it looks nice so we put that to the side and then i want to stamp something here i think so i've got this stamp set that i use with these um all these sentiments on it i've showed this before i got it from aliexpress it's got don't worry be happy for you see today life is beautiful just for you all you need is love thinking of you there's always a reason to smile you are my sunshine and i think because it's got clothesline on it i'm going to put you are my sunshine on it so just take these up and have a real look and we'll have where did it go where did it go you are my sunshine and it's also got to be hearts on it so it'll match our hearts that my hearts that um i've put on so i'm just going to stamp this in black because the writing on the calendar is black I'll just put some ink on this and this is just Versafine Onyx Black I'm using and I'm going to stamp this a bit here You are my sunshine You can see that there, you are my sunshine So I think that is looking really, really cute um, I think before I put the ribbon on to hang it the last thing I'm going to do is, I'll just, can't even find it, so did it go, yep, I can't, there it is, sorry, I'll just put this on here because if I don't it'll go missing, because I know what I'm like, my desk gets into such a mess and I can't find anything, so I'll just pop them back in here. back up there and then I've got um, some wee embellishments that I got from Aliexpress I really like these they're like the wee cabochons so I think I'm going to pop some of these down along the bottom on the lace because I think it looks really sweet just to finish it off There we go. So we'll pop these on with some hot glue. And I'll just put a wee bit of glue on each of them. Pop it in the centre. I think a lot of the time it's knowing when to stop when you're doing a project. But I think with Shabby Chic you can get away with doing quite a lot of embellishing because you can add all different medias onto it I like things that are quite decorated anyway to be honest just put too much glue on that one just pop it down there and the last two really nice so as you can see we've now got the wee cabochons all the way along the lace so i think that's looking really cute really nice and the last thing i'm going to do is before i put my lace on eh, not my lace sorry my ribbon i'm going to take this pencil and i'm going to put four stitching lines all the way around just to edge it I just think it finishes it off right around the edge for some reason I just think it gives it a bit of a border and 
makes it look nice. So as you can see, I, when I make a project, I really didn't have much of a plan. I know so roughly the things I want to use and roughly the colours I want to use, but I really just kind of wing it as I'm going along and see how it goes and add things and take things away. And So there we go, we've got our full stitching around the edge, so if you can see that. Mm, just about. This is a, what our calendar looks like. I will take my phone off the stand and give you a, a better look at it when it's finished. You can see it better. So now what I'm going to do is add on this ribbon so that we can hang it up. So I think, I don't know whether to do it from the front or from the back. I think I'll do it from the back. So I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to see what length I need. As usual, I've cut off far too much ribbon. I'll just cut it off about here. And I'm just going to put my ribbon together, fold it over, cut it off so that it gives it a nice flag on the end. So it just neatens it up a wee bit. So then I'm going to add a piece hot glue here and I'm just going to pop on my ribbon like so just hold it for a minute make sure it's it dries and then another bit on the other side like so and just pop it down Roughly the same level, give it a good push so that it stays nice and secure when it's been hung on the wall. Take off any of the excess pieces of glue, like so. So that is how it's stuck on on the back. And this is the front with the hanger. So I'm going to pause it, I'm going to take the phone off and then I'm going to give you a better look. Okay, so here we go. Here is our finished calendar. I just hang it up like so. We've got our lace on the bottom and our washi tape with our beads. We've got the small, sorry about that guys, the window's in the way. Our small um, project life card and our larger project life card. Some love hearts and some washi. Some staples down the edges. And our ribbon at the top. And I think if you give that to somebody as a, a wee present um, for part of their Christmas, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we just got the ribbon on the back. So thank you guys. I hope you like my process video. Um, oh, sorry about that. You can see me in the video there. Yep, I hope you like my process video. If you do, please like, leave a wee comment. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the wee box below. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.